Have you ever wondered, how do you get into these pomegranates without making a huge mess? Hey, we've got some ideas here on Produce Geek. Hi, it's John with ProduceGeek.com, and it's the end of October, and we're about to get through November here, and that's the best time of the year to get California-grown pomegranates. And what's available in November and into December is the wonderful variety, and those are just known for being super juicy and having a great flavor in the arils inside. But how do you get into this red skin fruit and uh, you know how do you open it? Well, there's uh, one way where you could just cut it right in half and get a spoon and over a plate knock all the arils out. It'll get some splatter on your plate, but that'll that'll work. You could cut it in half and try to pull them out with your fingers, but you're gonna get uh, Halloween uh, blood looking spray on your shirt from all that juice. So. Here's the method that I typically like to use. I have a bowl of water, and um, first thing I did is I'm gonna cut the top off the pomegranate. By the way, when you're selecting a pomegranate, it's okay if there's some scars. You just wanna pick one that's heavy for its size. Heavy for its size, that's what you wanna pick. And um, so here, I already cut the top off this one. All right, and then with my knife, I'm kind of looking for where the membranes are. There's usually four or five um, membranes that separate the pockets that hold the arils. And I'm scoring the skin about a quarter inch around where those membranes are, which should allow me now to pull apart my pomegranate and start seeing these arils inside. And that's the part that we're eating. An arrow is a little seed that has a sack filled with delicious red juice. Mmm. Pomegranates are full of antioxidants. That juice is wonderful. A little crunchy. You can top those on yogurt. You can uh, add them to a fruit salad or a regular salad. Um, eat them just as a snack. So how do I get all those out of there? Well, that's why I have this bowl of water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to submerge these underwater and start pulling these arils out with my fingers from the membranes because you don't eat those that the pith them the membranes. That's a very bitter. And so here I've kind of gotten most of these arils out. And the arils sink, the pith floats, the membranes. So the only reason I'm doing underwater is to, what just happened there is uh, reduce the splashing. So it's not splashing all over the place. So if I did that for the whole pomegranate, then I could maybe with a slotted spoon, skim out some of the membrane. And then with a strainer, pour that through, and I've got arils ready to ready to enjoy. So now, if you didn't want to do that, you can buy little tubs of pre-made pomegranate arils this time of year, but obviously you're paying someone else to extract them. Uh, so they might be a little pricier, or uh, if you value your time, um, this, uh, you know, buying the arils pre-removed might be the way. But I highly encourage you to try these delicious, sweet, and rich, flavorful uh, pomegranate arils. November is the best time of the year. And just a reminder, another fall uh, delicacy, we've got the flat Fuyu persimmons. This I can cut and eat uh, when it's still firm, or I can let it ripen to soft. But this cone-shaped one is the Hachia variety. That's the one where I wanna let this ripen at room temperature to get water balloon soft. I'll slice off the top and just spoon out the creamy flesh to use as an ingredient or to eat as a snack. 
And for what's best, keep checking back each week. If you find something delicious, share fruit with a friend, everybody. Here's the fresh.